The Arab foreign ministers held a preparatory meeting today ahead of the 25th Arab summit due to kick off this Tuesday in Kuwait. The summit comes at a time of critical developments in the Arab world, ranging from the collapse of the Geneva II negotiations between the Syrian government and opposition as the conflict enters its fourth year to the ongoing Israeli hostile policies towards the Palestinians. It's very clear that uh, uh, the Palestinian question uh, has really uh, garnished a great importance and it's a reflection uh, uh, to the way how all the Arabs look at uh, the Palestinian problem as the cornerstone of all uh, of uh, Arab concern. And uh, we are pleased, you know, as Palestinian delegation here, uh, to see that uh, this is really the case. And to see the fact that, you know, um, the speech of uh, the Kuwaiti uh, uh, foreign minister has set the tone uh, to the way how uh, the others, you know, have uh, dealt with this Palestinian question and uh, in, uh, you know, uh, related to it in their, in their presentations. The ministers discussed other issues pertaining to the sovereignty and independence of Libya and Yemen and cracking down on illegal activities in those two Arab nations. The foreign ministers also reaffirmed their support to the sovereignty of the UAE over the occupied islands by Iran. Also on the summit's agenda are discussions of relations with Africa and the reviewing of outcomes of the Arab-African summit that was held last November and calling upon Arab ambassadors in African countries to lobby for preventing Israel from obtaining an observer status in the African Union. Together with relations with third countries and international organizations, statute of the Arab Court of Human Rights and the development of the Arab League. With various pressing issues on its agenda as evident through the Arab Foreign Minister's preparatory meeting, the leaders of the Arab world have their work cut out for them during the summit here in Kuwait as they try to arrive at resolutions to these developments. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News, Kuwait.